everyone, thanks for tuning in. My name's Rob Tart. This is my cow Fluffy, and you're watching Pie's Perspective. All right, Fluffy, it's go time. Hey everyone, before I get started, I opened a new channel called Pie's Perspective, and I'm going to be posting my videos to that channel from now on. I will no longer be posting videos in this channel, P13 Guy, um, except for this video will be the last one. I encourage you to go over and subscribe in the new channel and then unsubscribe in the P13 Guy channel if you like. Um, like I said, I'll leave it up, but there will be no new videos there. And I made a, a big vlog explaining why I'm doing all this and a little bit about my future in YouTube. And I'll put the link down below um, so you can have a look at that if you want. But um, otherwise, go to the new channel and subscribe there or you won't get to see any of my new videos. All right, thanks. A home in Portland, Oregon caught fire, causing $30,000 in damages. Now, the fire was caused by the tenants of the home and their careless smoking. Now, when you hear about fires caused by smoking, usually the first thing that comes to mind is you think about somebody falling asleep while having a cigarette in bed. In this particular case, the fire was caused by the tenants who were using a hole in the floor as an ashtray. Now the house owner called 911 to report the fire and then hung up. He or she then refused to talk to the 911 operator when they called back. I guess they realized halfway through the call that they might be up for a Darwin Award and by hanging up they could somehow take themselves out of the running. Throwing items into a hole in your floor is a moronic idea to begin with. Throwing items into a hole in your floor that are flammable puts you on the cover of Dumb People Who Are a Danger to Themselves and Others magazine. It demonstrates the inability to use normal judgment and consequently you should go to the nearest loony bin and ask to be admitted. I guess the fire caused so much damage because the tenants saw smoke coming from the hole and thought nothing of it. They must have thought oh it's just some cigarette smoke. And by the time flames started shooting out of the hole it was probably way too late to start dousing it with water. I doubt anyone dim enough to use a hole in the floor as an ashtray would have the foresight to have a fire extinguisher on hand. Now for all you other mental midgets out there here are a few other things that you shouldn't toss into a hole in the floor. Anything that can rot like food or roadkill. If the smell doesn't get to you the sound of rats in an orgiastic feeding frenzy will. Human waste is another one. It won't take long before you have a giant steaming heap of crap in the middle of your living room. Now sure it makes a great conversation piece at parties, but it tends to hurt the resale value of the home. Don't throw in your relatives. As much as you may want to throw your mother-in-law into the hole, there's probably a good chance that your spouse will not find it funny. Don't throw in gasoline or lighter fluid, just in case somebody is actually stupid enough to use the hole in the floor as an ashtray. Now the only thing I can actually think of that would be a good idea to throw in a hole in the floor is a trampoline. Can you imagine the look on the pizza guy's face when he shows up and he sees somebody appearing and disappearing from a hole in the floor? Alright, who wants ice cream? We have the thumbs upsicle, the subscribesicle, the three flavor favesicle, and the comment on a stick. Please help yourself to anything you like. A man in Cincinnati named Jerome Smith was arrested for repeatedly bashing a pregnant woman in the head with a handgun. Now the man was covered in tattoos, but what makes the story unusual is the man had the word genius tattooed to his forehead. Now let me start by saying if you are actually a genius, you don't need to advertise it. Most people will pick up on the fact that you're intelligent after conversing with you for some time. Having the word genius tattooed on your forehead isn't going to fool anyone. People aren't going to walk down the street and look at your forehead and go, yeah, that guy must be a genius. Actually, I think just the opposite is true. Telling everybody how smart you are via a tattoo on your forehead is only going to make people think that not only are you not a genius, but that you have the IQ of a sack of wet hammers. Trying to convince people of your intelligence should not be done by committing extremely unintelligent acts. Now, unfortunately for the laugh factor of this video, the word genius was actually spelled correctly. I could have had a field day with that. Now, I don't personally have a tattoo, but if I did, I'd probably get it in a spot where it could easily be hidden, just in case I needed to do that. Now, the last place I would get a tattoo is on my face, specifically on my forehead. Later in life, some people regret tattoos that they got years ago, and they're reminded of it every time they look at it. Now, if this guy didn't like his tattoo, he would be reminded of it every time he looks in the mirror. There are some tattoos that are just a bad idea, especially on your forehead. The tattoo that you got on your forehead of elephants having sex seemed like a funny idea at the time, mostly because you were young and drunk. But now, it doesn't seem quite as funny, especially at job interviews. Good luck asking a girl on a date or getting a job at the bank. I think family reunions could also be awkward. It would be nice if the authorities had the right to change a tattoo on a criminal's forehead if it proved to be fraudulent. If you have the word genius on your forehead but you continually get arrested, they should be allowed to spray paint your forehead and write something that's a little more accurate. Today is question of the day, leave a comment, post something, give me your opinion of the day. Think of some other items that you shouldn't toss into a hole in the floor. And or think of some other tattoos that wouldn't work well on your forehead. Anyway, that's all I have for this week. Thanks for tuning in, and remember, it's not necessarily right or wrong, it's just my perspective. Uh, Fluffy, are you sure you packed this parachute correctly? Uh, Fluffy, are you okay? 
Oh, thank Bovine for that. He or she then refused to call throwing items in a hole in your floor, a hole in the throwing items into a hole in your floor that are fam. It demonstrates the ab sure it makes sure it makes great conversation piece. Sure, it makes a great conversation piece. It's only going to make people think that not only are you not a genius, but that you have a spot where it could be easy. The, ta the tattoo you got on your head? <laughs> they should be allowed to spray paint your ho ho. They should, 